Hey gang, I'm at my favorite fiddler crab hunting grounds. Pardon the traffic, it is not far off the beaten path. Today, hopefully, I'm gonna take this camera, look goofy and hook it to my head so that you can see what I'm gonna see. The basic technique is see a group of fiddler crabs run up on them. A lot of times they will freeze in place. I don't know if it's because they're confused or they just wanna blend in. The ones that freeze in place, you grab, you throw into your bucket. The ones that make it into the hole, you got a little gardening trowel, and sometimes they'll stay in the top part of the little hole thinking they're safe. Dig the trowel into the ground behind them in the hole, and you can grab a couple of them out of the tops of the holes. So we're gonna see that. I'm gonna stick this camera on my head, look a little goofy, and hopefully catch a few fiddler crabs to get out there fishing today. One thing you can notice about this place is that places close to so-called civilization often become trash dumps. Gonna have to come out here one day, maybe just spend a day collecting garbage. This is ridiculous. I expected to see more by the time I got to this spot. Not seeing as much activity as I expected. There's a couple of little guys. Here's one that's decent. Here we go. Here we go. He got me a couple of times. He's a really small guy. A little too small. Oh, this guy was hiding. Let's get him. Here's a hole under the water. Let's see if maybe somebody's in there. Oh, there's one in there. See him coming out? Gonna be a little too small. We'll let him go. They're not as plentiful as I had hoped, but here's a nice size one. That big pincher, not gonna break your skin but it'll give you a nice little pinch sometimes shock you into letting them go as you saw back there here I saw a big guy go into this hole right here you just see his legs sticking out so we're gonna try to cut him off at the pass see that that's a nice bait I think you get an idea of the technique find a place with the little holes usually on a sunny day you'll catch them out trying to take advantage at low tide of the weather conditions and while I'm here take a look around not far off the beaten path maybe today's lesson comes from very big channel active self-protection person who started the channel John Korea is always talking about the rules of stoop four rules if you violate two it significantly increase your chance of putting yourself in a bad situation. Don't go stupid places at stupid times with stupid people and do stupid things. Being this close to a major roadway might not consider a stupid place. And this is Florida. There are people not too far from here probably living in the mangroves. And those people aren't always the most mentally stable. Make sure you're safe wherever you're going. Half the fun in life is doing stupid things in stupid places at stupid times get a ccw make sure you protect